Hi guys, welcome to Amy's Art Table. I'm Amy and today we're going to paint some apples. So, you can hear my kids outside, they're having a lot of fun. It's about 95 degrees right now in California, it's super hot. You'll probably be seeing this next week, but today is a very hot day and my kids are outside running through the sprinklers and I am inside doing a little work and watching them out the window. So, I wanted to share some different varieties of apples with you. This is going to be um, a fun lesson on how to blend and pick up some detail from apples. So, if you have purchased the kit, you will have a few pages. You'll have something that looks like this, that is a blank of the Apple Facts. And then you'll have these different varieties. So we've got Red Delicious, Wine Sap, Pink Lady, Cortland, Granny Smith, and Golden Delicious. So these all represent different colors of apples. And we're gonna start with these first. Um, this is going to be a fun way to blend some different colors. So I'm going to grab a brush and some red watercolor and we're going to get started here. Let's see. To grab a good small to medium sized brush. Um, now you'll notice a lot of apples have red in them. So, um, we can keep using the same couple of colors. We can use reds, yellows, greens, um, maybe a little orange on some of these apples. So I'm gonna start with the Red Delicious. The Red Delicious leans a little more to the darker red. So I get a little bit of red on my brush. And this is more of like a pure red. And I'm going to start at the edge, the golden delicious, or the, not the golden delicious, the red delicious. I really start defining this edge here. I'm just gonna trace that. I'm gonna do each one of these apples like in a similar way. So you can just follow along some red sort of throughout the center. I'm going to create a little um, shade and shadow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one side of my apple be a little more red and the other is going to be a little bit more of a maroon color. So I'm going to go find a purpley red over here sort of a maroon. I'm going to slowly start adding that in and blending it with the red. Even leave a little bit of your apple white too so we can blend later. Do something like this. I'm just going to leave that for a couple minutes. Okay. And now we're going to move over to the wine sap. This apple is red and going to have some golden details. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to add more red to this apple than to the golden delicious. So I'll leave a couple of little spots white for now. But for the most part, the wine sap is going to be red. Right, and since two more of my apples have some red in them, and since I'm already working with red, I'm just gonna keep going with the red, okay? 
So I'm going to move down to the pink lady. Put some red at her edge, work it through the middle. The pink lady has bits of red and then it has like a lighter pink look to it, which is where it gets its name. These apples are really good. Okay, so more red on this side. As I'm adding the red, I'm also adding more water this time. So this is a lighter red. Sort of blending that a little bit. Okay, so we add a little more water. So we can get more of that pink color. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna leave that one. And then I'm gonna move on to the Cortland. Portland's got bits of red. leave more white on the Cortland. Okay, so from the Red Delicious, we had lots of red, less red, less red, less red. Okay. Now the next color that I want to introduce is going to be a um, golden yellow orange. So we'll grab some yellow and water on the brush and we'll go back to the wine sap. And I'm just gonna start adding some yellow but letting it mix with the red. So we get more of that golden color. Okay. Once I've made that golden color, I can sort of bring it down on the apple. So I take this paint from here and bring it down here to fill in the apple. It kind of a nice realistic tone. Now the next golden colored apple is going to be the Cortland and then we'll have the Golden Delicious. So both of these are going to use quite a lot of yellow. So I'm going to go back to this yellow. at one edge and every time that my brush gets too full of red I am going to rinse it so keep adding yellow and keep rinsing the brush that's looking nice. It's looking good. Okay. Now for the Golden Delicious, I am going to use that same yellow. And paint most of this apple a nice golden yellow color. In fact, I think I'm going to be look for a bigger brush because this apple needs so much yellow. It can go a little bit, cover more area with a bigger brush. It's kind of fun to work on multiple apples at the same time. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to grab Go back to that smaller, me smaller medium-sized brush and grab some water. And go back to the Red Delicious now with just water and start just blending these colors together. So it becomes a little more cloudy on those white spots. So I 
like that. If you wanted to, you could go back and add a little bit more maroon. rinse out that brush again and this time I'm going to go to a green but I'm going to mix it with a yellow so I want more yellow a little bit of green and work on the pink lady Some nice green. If it's looking too brown, just wash out your brush and add more green over it. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, for the Granny Smith, which is like a green green apple, I'm going to go ahead and paint with water. just because I really want to have fun and have this blend down. So I'm going to drop in bits around the edges and let it just go all over the apple. So that's fun. Right, so I like the Granny Smith. The Golden Delicious, I still feel like needs more yellow. So I'm gonna go back to that golden yellow color and I'm gonna highlight the edges. That will definitely change the apple. Now it looks more like a Golden Delicious. Right, so now we have some varieties. We need to make some stems. Go ahead and grab a little brown for the stems. Just fill those in. If you want to darken, um, add a little brown to the top tippy top of the apple where the stem hits the apple. You can do that too. Let's see, get a little more brown. So that's looking good. This is getting a little bit of water here. So if you get too much water in one spot, you can always tip your paper a little or you can grab a paper towel. So now I'm gonna set this guy aside and let him dry. And I'm going to move on to